Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to episode 14 of The Longest Five Minutes on the Nintendo Switch. Shoutouts to NAS America for providing me a copy of the game. Last episode, we crossed the bridge here after a big battle against uh, someone who works for the Demon King, the Casino Queen. We almost lost, we defeated her, and we're heading to a new place today, guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> We are back. Yeah, the Casino Queen almost uh, did us in there. That was pretty cool. We saved our file here, so let's continue on. Some more memories here, guys. Yeah, the Casino Queen. Whew. If you haven't watched the episode, go check it out. I remember that moment. I stared at their backs, and I thought, I can't die. There's no way I can die. They should be terrified, but here they are, fighting by my side, so I won't let anyone die. So we're all fighting together. We've all agreed. This is our destiny. Oh, you stand despite your wounds? We, we can't afford to die. We decided we're going back home alive, together. Huh? Clover? And Yuzu Flash? Did your memories come back? Sorry, I don't think I remembered all of it yet. But with memories I have now, I can fight. Raw. Wow, his HP went up. Flash. Dang. Oh, where's the strength coming from? Heroes are so unpredictable at times. But Flash, have you forgotten? Rebel against me, and what awaits you is death. Even so, you choose to fight. Hmm. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't terrified, but if I ran now, everyone would have put their hope in me for nothing. Now that I think about it, I feel like I've been in this situation before. Hmm. Let's see. The Old Man and the Dawn. Like a big forest, some water. Ooh, an inn. Oh, there's an inn. It's already dark. Let's rest here. Man, what luck. We're pretty beat. Let's go, Flash. All right. We're going to the inn, guys. Ooh. Delgado. <laughs> That's not good. Flash and Regent will sleep in the room at the far end. We'll be in the room next to it. Okay, thanks, Yuzu. I'm going to get to bed now. I'm really tired today. Good night, Regent. Don't oversleep. I know, I know. See you tomorrow. Do you want to go to sleep too, Clover? Yeah, I should. I'm a little tired myself. Okay, then I'll go to bed too. Don't stay up too late. Just lie in bed. I'm sure you'll go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Welcome! I'm always happy to see so many guests staying at a little old inn. Spend all the time you need. I really like this inn. I've been coming here for a long time. A long time ago, there used to be a boat from Port uh, Gropure and, uh, to Barkaraka Harum. These names. But ever since the demons started coming out, there are no boats. Docks are getting beat up. There used to be a lot of shops here, too. Now it's just this inn that's left. It's a lonely feeling, you know? I guess it's just the cruelty of time. Alright. We went to the amusement park today. Just the two of us. And now, an inn with a view. Going on this trip with two of us just made me kind of nervous. But it's, it's fun. Oops. Wrong room. Nothing in the barrels. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, the girls are here. All right, Regent. I'm really exhausted today. I'm about to fall asleep. You need to rest too. Your bed is on the left. Okay. Go to sleep. Um. Yes, I know something's gonna happen. I wonder if I could have said no one out of the inn to look out. <laughs> now, now, that's no good. There's no rest for those who wish to harm the demon king. 
I'm gonna fight Delgado again. Whoa, what's that noise? <gasps> On fire? Grrr. I'll leave it to this, to Yuzu and Clover and go help the others. Talk to these guys again? Anything new? Hey, you're a man, aren't you? Get together, protect me. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa, I'm scared. I'm gonna die. No, my end, the demons will destroy it. I'm talking to everybody here as the fire rages on. I can't believe the demons have made it this far. P please help me. Hmm, we meet again. You truly bested me at Gastonbury. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Because you stayed at this inn, it's being attacked by demons. All these innocent people. You all must be cursed, don't you think so? Look at them. See how they panic? Fine, I suppose I should step in. I shall put an end to this. Delgado appeared. Oh my gosh, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. No items? Oh, brother. This is a uh, weird battle here. Um, oops. Doing nothing to him. We're gonna die. Hmm, that should do it. Now the final blow. I think we were meant to die, don't you? Flash! It's Delgado. Or, meant to get really hurt. Once again, you proved to be a nuisance. I'm getting tired. Let's retreat for now. You, all of you, are nothing but garbage. I can dispose of you anytime I wish. We will meet again. He ran away again. Pretty about him. What about Flash? He's hurt badly. Let's get him back to the room. Regent, get his legs. Got it. Yeah, so we were supposed to kind of be annihilated there. Delgado's sudden ambush left Flash gravely injured. His allies treated the other's guests and took care of Flash till midnight. As he slipped in and out of consciousness, Flash lost his confidence. What kind of hero puts innocent lives in danger? What kind of hero puts a burden on his allies, who now must tend to his wounds? And losing till Delgado... I am so weak. I can't beat the Demon King like this. I'm sorry. Because of me, I'm so sorry. With a sense of powerlessness and guilt weighing heavily upon him, Flash's head was spinning. I should run away. If I continue this quest, I'll only put, be putting others in danger. <clears throat> then I should just disappear. I'll get on a boat at the docks and run away. And just keep running. Yep. I'll do that. In the hours before dawn, Flash woke up alone. Are they sleeping? Let's see. <laughs> they would say anything different. Um, help Flash stand back up. Even the innkeeper is sleeping. <laughs> uh, oops, I, I, I don't want to go back in there. I want to go over here. Checking the barrel. Wow. 
wise old man. Where are you going? You'll die trying to sail out there on such dark seas. Are you sure you want to go? It's probably better that way. You look badly injured, your body and your soul. I saw you fighting the demon at the inn. I was completely helpless. I could barely protect myself. But you went up against it to save everyone. That's truly admirable. So maybe you don't need to worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. What a cold wind. It's always coldest and darkest before dawn. But the fact is, dawn will always come. Very wise. I want you to have this. Unbreakable heart. An unbreakable heart is a soft heart. You can't make everything perfect. So it's best to love your imperfect self. That's the key to real strength. That's how you achieve your dreams. That's what I believe. Well, dawn is coming. The heart I gave to you, I will pray you keep it well. And he just disappears. Is there anything we can actually... Um... Flash, where were you? We were worried. You're still hurt, Flash. You shouldn't be up. You fought Delgado alone, right? I was thinking that if we just helped you, maybe you wouldn't have been hurt. I'm so sorry, Flash. We feel responsible. Sorry. We're sorry, Flash. But because you fought off Delgado, the owner of the inn and the others were saved. You did it, Flash. You might be thinking that we're not that reliable, but the way we are now? Uh, but I'll become stronger. I'll work harder. Please, Flash, let us stay with you. At that moment, the unbreakable heart that Flash was carrying shone brightly with the light of the dawn. This is a cute little story. You need not carry this burden on your own, because you have... There we go. Experience 9999. <laughs> That's cool. We're going to save here, guys. So, man, that battle against Delgado, I'm like, how are we going to win this thing? But, of course, it was one of those battles where you're not supposed to win. You're supposed to get destroyed. <laughs> Hope you liked the episode, guys. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Make sure you blast the like button. We'll come back here very soon. See you guys next time.